guys welcome back to my channel keto with sammy if you're new here welcome to my channel happy wednesday everybody today i'm going to be taking you all along my day of eating but it's going to be a little different okay so i tried to record this video yesterday and i was recording and i didn't realize my mic wasn't on so that was my bad but we have a new day i went to the gym this morning i have been back in the gym since monday i got in a good leg workout not even gonna lie i'm so sore easing my way back into the gym i did arm workouts on monday i've been doing some cardio i did some abs yesterday i did full body today i did legs with a little bit of cardio so it's been really good i'm sore but i'll get through it this week and i'm just glad i can be back in the gym after the summer so this morning i went there i have been fasting um what we're going to be doing a little bit different a few videos a couple of videos back i told y'all that i wanted to start counting my calories so we are going to be in a calorie deficit i have been doing it since monday i've been uh, keeping track of my calories and i've been doing really good so today that's what we are going to be doing um so i if you missed it i'll pop it up at the end of this video but i do have a video on how to find your calories for yourself because everybody has a different calorie intake it depends on how much you work out it depends um how much you weigh um and your bmi and things like that it everybody has a different calorie intake it all just depends on you and a different protein intake and things like that so i am going to be doing keto low calorie um so I was trying to use um, fit my fitness pal, but I honestly don't really like my fitness pal. I tried it Monday and Tuesday. It's just like you have to pay for it to like scan barcodes. And sometimes when I want to weigh certain something, it's hard to like find the um, the measurements and things like that. So I personally don't really like to use my fitness pal, but you can use whatever you want. It's usually my fitness pal, but I like to use carb manager. So I use carb manager and I have all my macros in here and we are going to be putting, entering what we're going to be eating today. So my macros for me personally, I'm going to be targeting 1,522 calories and that is for cutting because, um, I do have a different maintenance calories. If y'all check out my, uh, my other video, um, so since I am trying to still drop a few pounds, build some muscle in the gym, I'm going to be having 1,522 calories. I'm not really um, aiming so high for my fat, but my target is 68 grams of fat. I kind of don't want to go over that. And my protein target is 152 grams. And then we're just going to be doing keto. I am trying to still stick to 20 nut carbs, but I'm going to give myself a little window depending on what I'm going to be eating. It all just depends on how it goes. But I've been doing really good. I've been staying in my calorie window, but I feel like I need to up my protein just a little bit more. So I'm going to be working on that. But yeah, so we are going to be starting to track our calories because it's been a while since I've been tracking. Um, we did the no dairy free challenge. It got me out of my little stall. And now I want to keep pushing and see what else I can change. And I feel like counting my calories is really going to help me keep pushing forward and really try to get my protein intake to help me build muscle in the gym. So I feel like that'll be really good. We'll see how it does these next month or so and see if I make any progress. But so far I'm feeling good. I am feeling sore, but we're gonna get there, okay? We're gonna get toned. We are going to keep pushing. So like I said, I haven't had anything to eat. I actually have some things to do today. I gotta go pick up a clothes order for my kids because they started school Monday. I had a little order that was getting delivered to a store for them. And while we're out there, um, I'll see what I get into, okay? But before we head out, I do not like to leave, eat, leave on an empty stomach. I was probably gonna get something to go, but I was like, you know what? I have some stuff here at home, okay? I'm not gonna be eating out. Um, and I'm super hungry after that workout. So let me show y'all what I got in the mail the other day. Okay, so Life Cuisine sent me meals. You guys, I tried to record this yesterday for y'all, like I said. So if you saw what I posted yesterday, I'll pop up a picture, but I have uh, tried the Life Cuisine keto flatbreads you guys they are so good that flatbread was the bomb i baked it in the oven it got nice and crispy but soft at the same time it had such good flavor so y'all need to try that one but today we're going to try another one for lunch um so there is different lines to keto uh, to keto cuisine to life cuisine so they have their low carb line they have their veggie line and then they have their high protein line okay so some of these are in keto so starting with the first two these are the veggie line so you'll see it right here where it says veggie lovers so i got these at heb they sent them from heb but i saw somebody else say that you can get them at target they're frozen meals you could probably find them at um 
like a popular grocery store in the frozen section maybe walmart target hb maybe check those but these are their veggie line these aren't keto but these are low carb and low calorie so it depends what you're doing they do have different options okay so the first one is their pesto cauliflower ganache bow this one has creamy basil pesto and parmesan cheese 13 grams of protein this one is 370 calories not keto but is low in calories so this is an option for me um like i said i'm going to be doing keto but some days i might do low low calories so if y'all want to see that again let me know i'm really really trying to push for it you guys i like i said a lot of y'all have been noticing that i've been really trying to push lately like with my videos and really just trying to make changes again i kind of got into like a little spot where i was really stuck so we got to keep on pushing so if y'all want to see low calorie days as well um let me know but this is going to be part of their veggie lovers line and then they also have their vermont white cheddar mac and broccoli bow topped with toasted panko breadcrumbs not keto but is 350 calories 17 grams of protein so this is what this one looks like these are microwavable some of them go in the oven or some of them you can do uh air fryer so these are the two i the, when i went to hb i only saw these two that were part of their veggie line okay so this is the keto line so i have i had one more which was a flatbread they have four different options and they might have different flavors from like different stores because i saw somebody say that they had their their barbecue flatbread but i personally didn't see that flavor in my heb so it might just depend but this is their keto line so you're gonna see that it says carb wise so that is going to be the keto friendly ones and low carb okay so this is their meat lovers cauliflower pizza bowl sausage and pepperoni with cauliflower florets mozzarella cheese and tomato sauce we actually might have this one for lunch today this one is 11 net carbs 390 calories I don't know yeah 11 net carbs i was like let me try to find a net uh lower net carb one but 11 net carbs isn't that bad okay i'm giving myself like a 20 to 25 net carb window if i kind of go to 30 it just depends i'm gonna see how it goes okay but as long as i stay in my calories and try to hit my protein goal that's all that matters to me um so 11 net carbs 20 grams of protein one cup of veggies 390 calories and this one you can just pop in the microwave so we might go ahead and do this one since i gotta head out the door today and get some things done remember if you are doing keto regular keto it's 20 net carbs a day some people give themselves a bigger window some people go 50 net carbs a day and that's that's totally fine if you're like um if you're really trying to lose weight and you're just starting out and you feel like that's a good window for you and you're still making progress then that's good too you guys i'm so thirsty i worked out it's so hot outside and i've been upping my water a lot proud of myself i love water but i have to constantly have it next to me for me to remember to drink it so yesterday i drank six bottles of water and that was really good for me okay next one on their carb wise is their seven net carb cheese lover pizza this one actually says keto friendly on it but it's just a cheese pizza this one is a thin crust top with mozzarella parmesan asiago romano cheeses um and it's 460 calorie because they do have other pizzas but these are more the protein ones because it's a cauliflower crust and it's a, it's more higher in net carbs, okay? But this one's only seven net carbs. And then we got the Meat Lover Zoodles Bowl. This one is looks really good. This is the sausage and pepperoni over zucchini spirals with tomato sauce and cheese. This one is 13 net carbs, 17 grams of protein, and 330 calories, okay? So we have this one. So that was it for their carb-wise line that I got besides their flatbread. So this one is their protein lovers. So this one is low calorie, high protein. It's not too bad on the carbs. If you're not really concentrating on the carbs, it's still pretty good, okay? This one is 300 calories. This is their Korean barbecue style beef bowl. Steak strips over brown rice with vegetables. Automate, adami. Is that how you pronounce it? I never know how to pronounce it. Sesame seeds and Korean style sauce. 18 grams of protein, okay? So a really good amount of protein. Like I said, not keto friendly, but it is protein and low calorie approved. And this one is actually 44, about 40 net carbs, which honestly isn't terrible as long as, um, if you're counting your calories. So I might have these certain days. We will see what schedule I want to be on. Uh, like I said, uh, I kind of want to incorporate like low calorie days, um, maybe twice a week again and we'll see how it does because this time like i have to push okay i am like determined to make really big changes in the gym okay i had a i was doing good and then summer came and i had my boys i couldn't get back in the gym so it kind of put me back a little bit 
but I need to push. Like I myself want to make so many changes to my body. I just, I'm healthy and I'm happy, but I just want to tone up. Like that's all I want. And I can't get there if I don't push my hardest and really keep tracking. Cause it's been a while since I track. I need to know where I'm at. So I'm gonna push you guys, okay? So this is their protein, another protein lovers. This is their chicken enchilada bowl. This one caught my eye, like this one looks so good. It sounds good. It's their white meat chicken with black beans, corn peppers, Monterey Jack and cheddar cheese, corn tortilla and roja sauce, you guys. That sounds so good. Okay, 21 grams of protein, 330 calories, okay? So this is another one. And when I tried their flatbread one, it had so much flavor. So I have high hopes for all of these. Then we got two pizza ones. Now these are made with the cauliflower crust. You would think they're keto approved, but usually when frozen pizzas are made with cauliflower crust, they're higher in net carbs. So this one is about 30, 37 net carbs. This one's about 30 net, 34 net carbs. So yeah, they're a little bit up there. They're still a healthy option. They're still low calorie. So it all just depends on you, like I said. One of them, we got their cauliflower crust pepperoni pizza. This one has chicken, beef, and pork. And then this one is their three meat pizza. So it has sausage, beef, pepperoni, pork, chicken, and yeah, and cheese. So it just depends. They have two different options. Um, one of them, 17 grams of protein. The other one's 18 grams of protein. And they're both 390 calories, okay? So these are the, the options that Life Cuisine sent me. So we're going to go ahead and have one for lunch today. We're going to be keep track of our macros. And then we're going to head out here in a bit. So the one I'm going to be having for lunch is the keto friendly um, meat lovers cauliflower pizza bowl with sausage and pepperoni with cauliflower florets, mozzarella cheese, and tomato sauce. This one is 11 net carbs, 390 calories. So let's go ahead and scan it into our app. Okay, so with Carb Manager, it's so simple to scan. This is why I like Carb Manager because if you do my fitness pal you have to search everything which isn't terrible you don't have to scan everything in but i just feel like it's so much more convenient and you don't have to pay for it for my fitness pal you have to go premium to scan in the products so what you do okay i have everything set up i have my macro set up make sure you enter it into your settings in your personal carb manager to have your calories your protein your carbs and all that good stuff okay so we're gonna go ahead you just click it and you click scan food and we're just going to go ahead and scan the barcode. Sometimes the macros would be a little off or sometimes you can't find certain foods. So then you can just search it. But it all just depends. Sometimes when there's new products, they're hard to find. Like this one's hard to find, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and search it. You're going to type out what it says. It's Life Cuisine Meat Lovers. And if you still can't find it, you could actually input all the macros yourself. So 11 net carbs, 300. Okay, I found it. So it says right here, carb wise, meat lovers, cauliflower pizza bowl, 11 net carbs, five fiber. You just want to make sure all the, all the macros match right. 20 grams of protein. The fat is 27 grams. Yes. And the calories is 390. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and add this in. This is going to be our first meal of the day. So I have everything set. Okay. I got it. I don't know what happened. I had to close it out, but my macros are already set and then we'll keep adding, um, the more meals we eat later on, like for dinner and things like that. Maybe I'll have a snack. We'll do, it all depends on where I'm at in my calories. Okay. But let's go ahead and start warming this up. So it says to do not remove film, put in the microwave on four minutes on high and uh, uncover, stir, recover and put another minute. Okay. So a total of five minutes to cook. Let's see how it looks. Oh, this is a good amount. Give you a good amount in there. You can see the cauliflower, the cheese, and the sauce. So it just says to not uncover. We're going to put it in the microwave for four minutes, and we'll be right back. Okay, I warmed it up for four minutes. Now it says to uncover, but don't uncover it all the way. Give it a good stir. Oh, my God. That looks so good. I would say this smells really good, okay? Really good. Nice and cheesy. Look at that. They put a good amount of cheese in there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and recover it and then you microwave it for one more minute. Okay, it's done. Okay, we're going to go ahead and uncover it. Let it cool down a little bit. It smells really good. I like that they put a good amount of cheese in there and I like that the cauliflower is actually like big bites, not all little and mushy. And I noticed like when I warm these up, even like with the flatbread yesterday, they're not watery. You know how sometimes frozen meals are watery, but these aren't and that's really good. Okay, let's go ahead and give it a try. Now I know it doesn't look the best, okay? But it smells good and I feel like 
frozen meals are very convenient i know you're not supposed to have these all the time because you know frozen meals are a little bit higher in sodium some of y'all might ask what the sodium intake is and it's not on here oh yeah 780 uh, mgs okay so yes have in moderation these are meant to be convenient when you're busy when you're on the go you just want to pop something in the microwave you don't want to cook all the time okay i have those days too and these will make those days so much easier okay have them throughout your journey here and there and you will be totally fine trust me i've had plenty of frozen meals throughout my journey okay um so yeah but let's go ahead and give it a try again it has sausage and pepperoni so just like a little pizza cauliflower type thing these are very easy to make too but like i said convenience you know okay i can see the sausage and pepperoni mm. oh it's so good you don't even need like to add extra salt or anything it really has so much good flavor. I think I really like like cuisine. Like the flatbread yesterday blew me away. Like y'all definitely need to try that one. This one has such good flavor. Like all of their frozen meals have such good flavor, texture. I have no complaints about it. It's so good, okay? Really good. Y'all need to give Life Cuisine a try. This is not sponsored or anything. I genuinely really like their meals. They're so good. All right, but I'm gonna go ahead, sit down and enjoy this. I gotta head out here later on and we'll be back for some more meals. All right, you guys, so I came to Target, I picked up my order. I was getting, so the boys shorts are 30% off right now. So I got two pairs that were their size. I got them some body wash. I got these little leggings because they also have a 30% off coupon for women's clothes. And then I got some black leggings because I needed some more. But then I came over here and look at all these freaking smoothies that they came out with i'm excited okay i don't know which one to try they have the ratio keto friendly ones and the mixed berry vanilla strawberry they're $1.99 then they have coconut these are actually zero sugar Ooh, cookie i kind of want to try these i think i'm gonna try one of these because milk and cookies sound really good so i'm gonna try this flavor then they have strawberry cheesecake oh my god 50 calories six carbs maybe i'll try one of those they have mixed berry then they have peaches and cream in the ratio keto and then they also have the two good mixed berry and then they have the strawberry and banana these are four for five and then the light fit they also have the zero sugar smoothie so i guess everybody is just i don't know i've never seen them maybe they're not new but they look really good so i'm just gonna try these flavors and see how these go strawberry cheesecake sounds delicious hopefully this one is really good i rarely come to target but target even has the egg life wraps usually i only see these at all day but they're only 4.99 i can never find this creamer at heb they only have it at target but i don't need it okay but they have the zero sugar hazelnut latte and caramel macchiato i'm a big chocolate person anyways but if you're looking for a zero sugar creamer by starbucks they have them here at, at target so Target does have the Life uh, Cuisine bowls, and they're actually on, oh no, those are the Lean Cuisine that are on sale. But they do have the Life Cuisine if you are looking for them. Alright you guys, oh my god it's hot. Uh, can y'all hear me? You guys, we have been dying here in Texas. It's been 104 like every day for like two weeks. So sorry if my AC is loud. But I ran my errands, I did what I needed to do, I went home real quick, and now I'm picking up my boys from school. But I'm gonna go ahead and have this chobani zero sugar milk and cookies flavored uh drink yogurt drink i'm not the biggest yogurt person but i feel like if it's like a little kind of like a little mix between a shake and a yogurt i might like it a little bit better um this is 50 calories 10 grams of protein i already added it into my carb manager and this one is six net carbs not the lowest in net carbs for these but it's okay i really wanted to try them and i did get that cheesecake flavor as well so we'll try that one next time but this is gonna be my little midday snack while i just wait for my boys all right so let's give it a try oh it smells really good wait hold on i don't know that's not bad the texture threw me off <laughs> i guess it's more of like i mean it's yogurt so it's more of like a watery yogurt mm -hmm. i wouldn't say exactly tastes like milk and cookies 
it smells more like milk and cookies than what it tastes like but it doesn't taste bad it's it's it has good yogurt flavor the texture is good it has a hint of cookie not terrible maybe the cheesecake won't be better but I like it overall. The flavor to the yogurt's really good. Just maybe a little bit more cookie flavor. I don't know. That's my preference. But it's not bad, okay? Mm. So if you like yogurts, these are awesome. I'm probably going to try them. Um, i never seen these at my HB or Walmart. I don't know if it's just I noticed them because they were up front at Target. I don't, know, I don't know if they're only at Target. I'll look for them next time. But I feel like this will be a better way of eating yogurt for me as just like a midday snack because I could eat the little bowls of yogurt but sometimes I can never finish them because they're super thick and sometimes I just don't like too much of it and these are a little bit thinner so I feel like they're better for me. So I might just pick up these from now on unless I'm craving granola. I don't know. I don't know. But these are really good so give them a try. If y'all tried any other flavors let me know what y'all think. All right, you guys, I picked up my boys from school. I was feeding them their after school food and I'm going to have a second snack, okay? I'm trying to get in a little bit more protein, although this doesn't have a whole lot of protein. It's some protein. Um, how do y'all get in so much protein? Like, I need to pick up, I need to go grocery shopping tomorrow, so that's what I'm doing, okay? So I'm gonna figure out how to get in more protein. I guess maybe I just need to have more like small meals. Um, but I've been doing like a little trial run this week to see what I need. Um, I, I usually have protein shakes on hand. That's probably the easiest way to get my protein in. So I'm probably just going to have to stock up. I want to go to Sam's Club. So if y'all would like to see a little Sam's Club trip, let me know down in the comments below. It's been a while since I went to Sam's Club. Um, but I want to see if they have any new keto items, see what we can pick up. So I might stock up on some protein drinks. That's probably the easiest way for me to get in like quick proteins rather than bars. Because I'm very picky with protein bars, okay? These I like because I like the texture. I don't like, I like the like the nutty texture type i don't like when they're like the chalky type of bar i hate i don't like those okay so it just depends what kind of bar it is but i have this on hand i'm just gonna have another little snack um before dinner later on but i did scan it into my car manager so far we are at 41 grams of protein 40 grams of fat 640 calories and our carbs are at 20 so we are doing really good but i'm gonna go ahead and have this wow I make my grocery list for tomorrow. Like I said, I wanna head to Sam's Club. Um, I'll do my usual, I don't know if I'm gonna go to Walmart or H-E-B, I kinda switch between them because H-E-B be expensive sometimes. It just depends what I need for the week and what I'm getting. But I'm gonna sit down and plan my meals. So I actually plan my meals now on my iPad. These are all my kids' school lunches, you guys. I like to be very organized. I had bought a planner off of Etsy. So if you have an iPad, you could literally buy planners off of Etsy and install them to your iPad, you guys. So this is like my meal planner type thing. I even plan out what I'm eating. I plan out my videos, what I'm going to be doing, like my weekly videos and things like that. So I just like to keep everything organized. I even plan out my day. <laughs> This is like the cover to it. It's so cute because it's like a digital thing. So it says daily and it has your yearly. So it has like your yearly overview, your monthly overview. This is just like what I got, but they have different styles, of course. They have daily health, habits, budgets, goals. It all just depends like what planner you buy. But I, like I said, I even plan out my days, what I'm doing. So I stay on track by time. I don't know. I am just that type of person that I like to have a plan and like what I'm doing for the day. That's just me. But I'm about to sit down and plan out my meals for the week so I can go grocery shopping. And we're gonna go ahead and have this ratio keto friendly um, chocolate nut chewy bar. This one is super good. I actually got this in my keto crate. So if you are ever interested in Keto Crate, I do have a discount code, Keto at Sammy. You can receive $10 off your first box. And I love Keto Crate because I always have snacks on hand when I just want something quick and easy, okay? Uh, this Again, this is by Ratio Keto. They have those yogurts like I had showed y'all. Um, and these are really good. And y'all know me, I love chocolate. So we about to eat this up. I love this one because I like the texture to it. And the chocolate is super good. So this is the way it looks. They are little second snack for the day we'll be back later on for dinner and i might have dessert because i actually did a tiktok yesterday on a dessert that i want to eat up i will see where our calories are at mm. this one's so good y'all give it a try
if you haven't already. All right, guys, it is officially dinner time. I was making my grocery meal plan thing. I made my kids some dinner. Now it's my turn. I should have got started earlier, so we might have a little bit of a late dinner because only because I have to make spaghetti squash, but we'll see how it goes. So we're gonna be making some pesto spaghetti squash with some chicken on top. So let's get started. Okay, because I don't wanna be here forever roasting the spaghetti squash. You can roast it in the oven if you like, but I'm going to put mine in the Instant Pot just so it's quicker. So I poked some holes in my spaghetti squash and I put some water in my Instant Pot, just enough to cover it. So depending on how big your spaghetti squash is, I'm gonna put mine for 10 minutes, but if it's like humongous, you're gonna have to probably do more time than that. Um, you don't wanna overcook it though, like especially if you're making like it as like a pasta replacement, you kind of still want it stringy. So you gotta play around with it. Don't do it too long, but you know, you kinda gotta test your Instant Pot. So I've done it a couple times already. Um, I'm probably just gonna do 10 minutes. We'll see how that does. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let this cook. So I'm gonna click pressure. I'm gonna click pressure cook. Go up to 10 minutes and let it do its thing. While that does that, we are going to pre-log our macros. I like to do this before I put a whole meal together just so you know where you're at, how much you can have of something and you don't go over. So usually with this, I would create a recipe on Carb Manager, put in how many servings and it'll break down the macros that way. But since it's only me eating it, I'm just gonna make one serving and I'm gonna do it that way. So for dinner, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding in. I'm gonna go in with some pesto in the spaghetti squash. So I'm gonna go ahead and scan in my pesto for dinner. And I'm just gonna put one serving because that's what we're gonna add to the spaghetti squash. So a serving size is 1 fourth cup, 160 calories, three net carbs, two grams of protein and 15 grams of fat. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that to dinner, okay? I'm gonna add one serving. Then I'm also gonna make a little Alfredo sauce with it, so to mix with the pesto. So we're gonna add in some heavy cream. For the heavy cream, I am going to go in with, I'll probably do evens, which is like one fourth cup. No, that's too small. Let me see. I want it creamy, but I don't wanna go in with too, too much. I'll probably go in with, well, usually one third cup is like my sweet spot, so I'm gonna go in with one third cup. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with one fourth cup because one fourth cup's already 200 calories, so we're just gonna keep that at a low. So we're gonna go in with one fourth cup. See, it's kind of hard to add heavy cream for like low calories when you're watching your calorie intake because heavy cream has a good amount of calories in it. So just for today, we'll go in with um, one fourth cup. Then we're gonna go ahead and add in my spaghetti squash. So I might go in, it depends how it breaks it down in here. So you search spaghetti squash, they have it by they have it by all kinds of measurements. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with two cups of spaghetti squash. Two cups of spaghetti squash, 84 calories, not bad at all. So I'm gonna go in with that. Then we're gonna have to go in with the chicken breast. Okay, so I wanna put in a chicken breast. I'll probably weigh it when it's done cooking, but we'll see. And I might go in with a little bit of cheese. We'll see at the end of it. But so far, those are my main ingredients that we're going to go in with. And that puts us at 1,280 calories. We're still on track because later on, I do want to have dessert. So we'll probably keep it like this. Okay, while well, my spaghetti squash cooks, I'm going to go ahead and cook up my chicken breast. So I'm just going to dice it into bite-sized pieces. Like I said, I'm just making one serving. So I'm just going to go in with one chicken breast. We're going to weigh it um, when it's done cooking. Um, just to see the exact amount of protein that we're going to be getting from this one chicken breast. I'm going to season my chicken with some garlic powder. Some pepper. Salt to taste. And then a little Italian seasoning. And I'm just going to go ahead and cook my chicken all the way through. Okay, chicken is done cooking. I'm just gonna let it cool down a little bit and then we'll go ahead and weigh our chicken so we can input our macros right into Carb Manager. And my spaghetti squash is done, so I'm just gonna go ahead and let out the pressure and then we'll let it cool down before we um, go ahead and clean out the insides. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my scale. We're gonna make sure it's zeroed out with the bow so we can put the chicken in there. Okay, I have it zeroed. We're just gonna go ahead and scoop our chicken and then we're gonna see how many ounces of chicken that we are going to be eating. I had put four ounces in the car manager, but I think it's a little bit more. So that means more protein. 
Okay, we almost got eight ounces of chicken. I'm gonna put seven and a half ounces of chicken. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put this to the side and then we're gonna go ahead and get our spaghetti squash. So for today, I am using my heavy cream, but since I am on trying to do a calorie deficit, heavy cream has so much calories, so I really wanna cut back that on that. And I've been seeing a lot of people make like cream sauces with cottage cheese. So for my grocery, my next grocery trip tomorrow, I'm going to pick up some cottage cheese and I'm going to start making my cream sauces with that. And I feel like it'll be way better with calories and protein. I can get more protein that way. So we're going to toss out heavy cream here soon. We need to cut back because it's a lot of calories and I've always had heavy cream throughout my whole, my whole journey. But again, we are making changes. Now, if you're just doing keto, Heavy cream is a great fat, gets in your fats. You can definitely make Alfredo sauce with heavy cream. It is not bad for you at all, but I am trying to cut back on calories, so we are going to make that change, and hopefully that'll do it. Okay, so I took out my spaghetti squash. You'll know it's ready when you can put a knife through it. It doesn't tug back. We're gonna go ahead and cut it in half. Now, I originally put two cups of spaghetti squash into my macros, but I feel like just weighing out food in ounces is so much easier. So we're just gonna weigh out some spaghetti squash to get the exact macros, and then we'll input it that way. I'm still trying to figure it out as I go, you guys, um, how this will best work, but I feel like just weighing out food is the easiest. Okay, I got my half. I'm just gonna scoop out the insides. Clean out the seeds and throw that to the side or do whatever you want to do with it. Okay, then we're going to take a fork. We're going to go ahead and shred up the spaghetti squash. And then I'm going to toss it into a bowl on the scale so we could weigh it out. I'm just going to put what I think is a good enough serving for me. Okay, we're going to go in with six ounces of spaghetti squash. And that was way less calories than entering two cups, okay? So make sure you just weigh out your food. I think it's so much easier. Okay, now in the same pan that we had cooked the chicken in, we're going to cook our heavy cream. Keep it on a low. We're going to go in with our serving of one-fourth cup. And this should thicken up pretty fast because it's not a lot. Then we're going to go in with the one-fourth cup of our pesto. And we're just going to go ahead and cook this down till the heavy cream gets kind of thickened and then we'll add in the spaghetti squash and chicken. Now I was going to add cheese you guys but I'm really trying not to have so much dairy and I need to get some low fat cheeses for less calories. So we're going to keep that out. We already have the heavy cream. Okay as you can see it's already thickening because it's not a lot of heavy cream so it's not going to take long at all. So just going to give it a couple more seconds. So you just want to keep an eye on it. I'm gonna go ahead and toss in my spaghetti squash. We're gonna coat this in it. This would be a good serving for me. It's, sometimes it's not hard to make individual servings. You just really gotta measure everything out and actually go by the serving sizes on the packages. All right, we're gonna add in our chicken. Let that heat through a little bit longer. And that's it. This will be our simple dinner. I'm adding a little red chili flakes because I love a little kick of heat. All right, let's go ahead and serve it up. Okay, I got my bowl. I'm just going to go ahead and serve up my pesto spaghetti squash. Very simple dinner. Oh, it smells so good. I probably could have used a little bit less pesto, honestly, than the one-fourth cup, but... It's okay, that was the serving size. Next time we'll cut it down. All right guys, and here is dinner. Next time I am going to be cutting down with the heavy cream, we're gonna make a cottage cheese sauce. So y'all stay tuned for that because I really wanna get in more protein. Like I said, I'm learning as I go with y'all as well how to make changes um, for my body. So this is a very easy dinner, keto approved all the way. So y'all definitely give it a try and let me know what y'all think. All right, let's go ahead and take a bite. And y'all stay tuned because I am going to be having dessert here shortly. I have some calories left over. We got some wiggle room. So we're going to have something sweet, okay? Mmm. Mm-hmm. So good. I love me some pesto and spaghetti squash. Give it a try. All right, you guys. I ate dinner. Now, I was going to have dessert, but we're probably we're going to go over our calories a little bit. But I really don't want to go over my calories, so... We're not having dessert today. It was just something I wanted. It's not needed and it's totally fine, okay? But we're gonna go ahead and call it a day. I had an awesome day of eating, um, learning as I go. I wanted to get in a little bit more protein than I did, 
but I will see what I can do. I wanna buy some protein shakes um, and just see what else I can incorporate just to get a little bit more protein in my days. But for today, my protein intake was 105 grams. I had 87 grams of fat and we hit 1,440 Five calories my calorie go or what I don't want to go over is 1521 calories so we did really good really really good and we stayed in our carb go as well we only had 44 carbs okay so awesome awesome day I'm doing really good um and I got in a good workout today as well so we did burn off some calories too okay so yeah I think I did really good for today I'm gonna keep it going and I'm gonna keep tracking and hopefully I can see some really good progress in the gym and just in how I feel overall so hopefully y'all stay tuned for this little calorie deficit journey that I'm going to be going on okay um, if y'all ever need any help please feel free to ask questions um, and I'll answer them the best that I can but I really hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that thumbs up button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you on the next one Go get